Hi. Uh, today, um, I'd like to introduce a song uh, from the Open Skies Avant Divas album. The song that probably has become the most popular one, the most listened to and most sung song. And it, it's in English, the title is something like, Give us the rain, give us your rain, Lord. Um, and I have uh, gotten a lot of questions about, you know, the rain, the the, the revival and when it's coming and, and can you see it in Finland, because I travel a lot, you know, if I see it in Finland, if I see it in other countries and so forth. And um, I have a couple of things that I'd like to share regarding that. Um, I am um, slightly disturbed by the fact that that people seem to think uh, that you know, just by, just by, uh, you know, raising our hands and singing and give us the rain, Lord, and and uh, somehow, as a as a detached thing from the rest of our lives, somehow then, you know, this revival comes into us. I think it's as it should come into us uh, when it's just a detached, you know, um, from the rest of our lives. What we do with the rest of our lives. Uh, kind of just like singing there and you know closing our eyes and, and expecting for for the rain I don't think it works that way I really don't and um, I would like to read uh, two two passages from the Bible oops there goes my my notebook <laughs> uh, this first one is the from the first uh, for the first psalm the book of Psalms first psalm uh, first uh, three verses. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Okay, so that was the first one. And then the second one is from Hosea. Hosea was a, uh, as you probably know, was a prophet that, um, I mean, like many other prophets, of course, Israeli prophets, um, but he particularly, he, the whole imagery that he was using was was that of a, a relationship, you know, God and and his people Israel was like uh, husband and wife, and you know that uh, the wife who was time after time betraying his husband, her husband. But here, anyway, here Hosea ten, Hosea ten twelve to 10, uh, twelve and thirteen, it says, "Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap in mercy." Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he, come, till he comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness, you have reaped iniquity, you have eaten the fruit of lies, because you trusted in your own way, in the multitude of your mighty men. Now this talks about the trust, you know, the faith that he wants from us, you know, the trust that we put all our trust in Him, and and um, of course, even this comes from Him, and also the renewal, uh, you know, the the uh, the revival that we so badly need, and I think this revival somehow, you know, instead of that um, that thing that we do sometimes in in certain gatherings that we you know we sing about these things, it really is instead of that, I think it is us seeking the Lord, you know, as he says, uh, you know, prepare that field, you know, and uh, if, if you want to have rain, as it talks about in this song, give us the rain, Lord, then there needs to be something to rain on. And uh, if, if you have a field, if it hasn't been cleared, you know, or if, the, if there is no, if there is no field, you know, that has been cleared, then obviously it's not gonna, it's not gonna grow. Uh, and at the same time, it is true that uh, we don't give ourselves that growth. All of that comes from the Lord, but it is from it is like a little bit like a like a like a dance, if you will. You know that it's like it's like back and forth in the way that it's 
we see Kim, you know, he, we, we, um, we, we want to be close to him and he comes close to us. And at the same time, it is he who, who calls us and he who gives us the faith. Um, but we need to prepare our hearts, you know, you know, with his word. If we just, uh, you know, go and sing, you know, these songs and, and come Holy Spirit, you know, and, but, but there is no, there is no rootedness in the word. You know, there is no preparation of the heart towards the rain, you know, that he wants to give, then I think it's not going to happen. This is what I understand. Uh, and uh, we, and if, if, if we even, if, if the situation is thus, that you don't even want to uh, be closer to him, then I think it, it would be important to, to pray for that, you know, to pray that, please, Lord, make me want that make me want that and you I think it will be his, his his great joy to make you want that and when you want that you know then you prepare your heart and then he gives the growth you know he gives he gives the rain and he gives actually everything that we need but he wants our cooperation you know I, I know that I always talk about these things but particularly with this song you know that I've gotten you know there are so many thoughts going through my head when I'm singing about these things, and I'm, and I'm singing this song. Uh, it says in Finnish, um, Anna sade jumala sydän kaipaa odottaa, Anna kaste golgatan virvoittamaan kuivamaa. Um, seek the Lord. Ask, you know, what he thinks about this. And, and uh, don't just ask, you know, sort of... Uh, for the answer within you, if there is nothing in you yet, you know, uh, saturate your heart and your being with the word. Uh, so seek, seek the answers from the word. You know, uh, speak to the Lord and ask Him to do these things. He He will do it. Uh, maybe not in the way that you expect, but definitely, you know, it, it will be. It, it's His will. You know, that's what He wants to do for us. Okay, and this is not the first time I talk about these things, <laughs> but it seems like I only, um, it only comes, you know, down to this, boils down to this one thing. So. Um, but yeah, thank you again for joining me and uh, till next time.